All right, we'll come back. So in this part of the series, what I would like to do um, is to discuss the possible approaches to fabricate and assemble a pattern similar to the one we generated in the grasshopper. We will use both Rhino and the grasshopper. Um, and first, we need to start by conducting minor uh, changes to our grasshopper definition. Now, if we look closely here on our um, uh, hexagonal component, uh, we will see that this component is kind of exporting uh, a group of polylines. Uh, we need to convert these polylines into surfaces. And to do that, I will use the boundary surface component here from the surface panel. And if I connect the curves into this component, uh, the original cells to be converted into surfaces. All right. So if we bake that and group, if we take the result and move it over here, and we can also ungroup again, we will see that now we have two dimensional uh, surfaces. Okay, so I'll delete that. Um, so now what we need to do is we need to join these new generated surfaces with our lofted surface. So to do that, we can uh, use the brief join component. So if we use this and this output together and we bake the result of the join and let's move the result over here and I will ungroup and you will see that now I have a complete cell with its backside. All right. Okay. Um, so uh, for us to laser cut a piece like that, what we need to do is to use the unroll command in Rhino. And this command will ask a series of questions. Just make sure to have the exploded command turned off. So you make sure everything will be connected to each other. When you're ready, just hit space. And you will see that we have now the unrolled version of this cell okay so basically if we uh, uh, laser cut this area over here and score this part we will be able to fold and roll back the design or this piece of material into a, a geometry like that and this video here shows the uh, laser cutting process and then uh, how the students actually took the piece and started uh, folding back the piece um, into the cell itself and to organize and put everything um, uh, together and then to assemble the pattern and have it fixed on the wall. I have added a link in the description box showing the clip uh, for the entire fabrication process for this project. Uh, if you are interested, you can check it out. That's it for this tutorial. Uh, I really hope you find it useful. Um, and I will see you in the next one.